Right, I want to do a quick review of this. This is the uh, the Umarex Glock uh, dual, ac uh, dual ammo uh, Glock 17. Um, new pistol I've just bought. I've had it a couple of weeks actually. Um, now, as I said when I reviewed my Makarov, I've always regarded these as sort of these sort of uh, CO2 pistols as toys, really. But uh, after having the Makarov, it was really good fun. And then I saw this in the gun shop and thought, well, that looks nice. So um, I got this as well. Now it's uh, dual ammo, this one, like I say. So it shoots BBs and pellets. Um, metal slide, a polymer frame, um, the normal Glock 17 Umarex safety catch thing on the front here. So you use your fingernails to slide that forward to fire and safe. I'm doing this one handed, it's quite difficult. I'll show you. There you go, now it's on fire. Little red spot appears for fire, little white spot for safe. Um, blowback CO2 pistol comes in this quite nice case. Hard shell, Glock branding on it. For some strange reason, it's got a piece of it here that's not got the, uh, the really soft foam on, which is bizarre, really, because. Even if you want it for your cut for your uh, CO2 cartridge, they still sink down in the foam. So why they haven't put that all the way across, I don't know. Comes with an Allen key, which you need to. I'll show you this. That slides forward. I'll show you in a minute the magazine. But what you do is when you put the ma uh, the CO2 cartridge into the magazine, you put the Allen key in there and screw it up tight and that's what punctures it and then that little plastic cover just slides back over and covers it so you get the allen key get a little booklet which is uh, quite comprehensive and you also somewhere i can find it don't know what's done with it Is. You get a, uh, a little cleaning rod, it looks like a darning needle, it's actually the cleaning rod. Put a little bit of rag through the end there and shove that up the barrel. So it comes with a fair bit of kit. Now then, to uh, release the magazine, press as in the proper Glock. Magazine release and out it pops. It's actually spring loaded so it does pop out quite heavily. Like I say, it's uh, you can use pellets or BBs. I've got this one set up for pellets. And what you do is, I'll just set that up there, just show you this. You load the pellets into these little eight round drum things. And then it's important that before you put them, you actually shoot at the top bit. So once you've loaded them up, you put them in there. But before you do that, once you put the pellets in, to get them to seat properly inside of the uh, the cartridge system, you need to put them back in there because these little lumps here push the pellet from the back and seat it properly in the magazine. So once you've done that, they just pop in there like that. Got that set up. Seal cartridge goes in there. The screw, like I say, at the bottom here. Little Allen key winds it in. And you keep your spare mags in there. Once you've done that, straightforward. Goes in there. Cock it. Just slide the slide back. That's cocked, ready to go. Now 
nice action on it. It's a really nice pistol actually. Now, there is a bit of a rattle on it because the slides are fairly lightweight affair. Now when I first got this, it was there's a heck of a rattle on it which is really annoying. And I narrowed it down to the fact that this runner here at the front, see there, that, uh, is very loose within the top slide, rattles about. So what I did, I put a little bit of heat sink over it, shrunk the heat shrink down the hairdryer, and then what I need to do is tidy it up by trimming the excess off the very end here. But what that's done is it's padded it out enough so it stops the vast majority of the annoying rattle that the gun had before I did that. Because before I did that, it did have quite a rattle on it. Now it's pretty quiet actually. It feels a lot more solid, a lot more sort of substantial in the hand. You still get a little bit of rattle from the slide, but not a great deal. Um, it's not field strippable uh, and it doesn't lock out uh, on the final shot either like the Glock Generation 4 model does um, but having said that because it shoots 177 pellets rather than uh, BB well you can shoot BBs with it but it seems a bit pointless buying this model if you're just going to shoot BBs with it because it shoots 177 pellets it's actually really accurate and the sights are it shoots where it's sighting out to a reasonable range, unlike some of these guns that have non-adjustable sights where they can be shooting way out. I think some of the SIGs are quite notorious for that, shooting really low and shooting off the left and the right and all sorts of things, whether or not non-adjustable sights really don't line up with the barrels at all and they just shoot all over the place. Well, they shoot to one particular spot but you have to aim off and compensate quite a lot. With this, um, I must admit, it shoots pretty much where it's sighted. So they've obviously got that barrel aligned quite nicely with the sighting system. Um, it's got the usual white picked out U in the back and blob of white on the foresight. And all in all, as a blowback pistol for a bit of fun, it's really good fun. It's got the, the actual safety and the trigger actually works on this model. So that does actually function. Um, it's not just there to look good, it is a proper safety safety mechanism on the gun. There's not a lot more to say about it really, it's just a really nice gun, it looks good, feels good, the weight feels right, sits in the hand really nice, I mean, it, you know, the weight sits in the hand's really smart. And now as I've settled down most of that horrendous rattle, you know, that's not bad, there's a little bit from the, from the top slide, but... I just need to trim that little bit of heat shrink that's over the top there off and that'll be pretty much problem sorted really. It doesn't affect the looks of the gun, doesn't affect the blowback. It just saves that little bit of plastic rod that's in there that's very loose on this particular model rattling about. Um, it's not an inexpensive version of the Glock. There are a lot cheaper ones. I mean, it's, not, it's not massively expensive but it's not, uh, it's not one of the cheaper ones. Um, and all in all, if you prefer to shoot 177 pellets and, sh and get the accuracy ben benefits and also the safety aspect because they don't recoil, uh, rebound and ricochet off targets as much as bull bearings, then one of these could be the Glock for you. And it's really nice. It's got a great feel in the hand. You know, it's really got a nice feel in the hand. It's just like, points so well. It's just lovely. It's a lovely little thing. Really nice. Very well made. Back up to Umarex's normal standards. Everything about it looks good, feels good. It's a shame it's not field strippable and it's a, a, a pity it doesn't lock out on the final shot. But I'm guessing that's got something to do with the fact that it's uh, 177 pellet firing rather than BBs. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't lock out on the... Uh, on the last shot because the new generation 4 does and I think the previous generation 3 BB firing one does as well so I'm assuming it's something to do with the uh, with the fact that it shoots pellets it hasn't got the adjustable or the uh, replaceable back strap 
that the Generation 4 version has, um, where you get, I think you get two back straps to make the grip um, a little bit wider and then a lot wider as you've got bigger hands. But in all fairness, I've got sort of medium sized hands, I suppose, and that fits just really well. Just, just feels so nice. It's just a really nice gun. It's pretty powerful as well for a for a CO2 replica one. Um, you know, and it's pretty accurate. It's great fun. Sort of ten yards, blasting away at tin cans and targets and things with it. Really good fun. Obviously, completely unsuitable for hunting or any sort of small vermin control, even rats at very close range, wouldn't use one of these things, because you'd be lucky to get, probably lucky to get 2.2 foot-pounds uh, energy out of one, even the pellet firing one, uh, and that's far too low, you know, to use on, uh, on live quarry. So they, they really are, they're just, basically they're a plinking gun, and for a bit of sort of general target shooting, they're not, not in any, shape, way or form a hunting gun. And ne never ever shoot anything living one of these things um, because they're just not designed for it. Totally unsuitable. It really is, it's just, just a bit of fun. But nonetheless, nice, very nice, good fun. Good plinking gun. The BB uh, magazine is slightly different from the ones for the two uh, the pellets because it's not it's got all plastic this one it's not got the metal center bit and the BB's feed in exactly the same feed in from the back and I think they're held in place if you look in there there's slight sort of rise raised bits of plastic in there to keep the BB's in place so the, the solid plastic one is the one for the BB's And the ones with the little aluminium centres are the ones for the uh, the 177 pellets. So, there you go. Humorex Glock, dual ammo. Really good fun, really nice. Thank you.